Hey guys, thanks for watching and I hope you subscribe to the channel. Um, this time I take you across the pond uh, to Porto, Portugal, a northern city in my native Portugal. And you would think that I'd be like hauling all kinds of uh, DSLRs around, my typical Canon gear, which I didn't. So all the photos that you see uh, in this particular episode, uh, they were actually shot, shot with this little guy, which is the Fujifilm X-Pro1. Um, it's a rangefinder. Uh, since I bought this camera, the X-Pro2 has been released, which has better resolution and then a couple of extra features that really make it even more usable. Um, and from what I understand, the, uh, the X-Pro3 will be announced relatively shortly, and I'm really interested to see what that camera brings to the table. All the photos were shot with a single lens, in this case the 18mm. Um, and sometimes it's really good to just pick up another piece of uh, a gear um, that you might not use on a regular basis and, and it forces you to see things differently and it challenges you to you know get out of your comfort zone and maybe even be more creative because of that. Um, the other obviously was my uh, Galaxy S10 Plus which I shot one photo that you're gonna see and that's the one you can see people walking across the bridge right towards the beginning of the video and the video itself was actually shot with a DJI uh, Osmo Pocket, which you see here, which is a great little camera uh, with a little built-in gimbal. Uh, it works really well. At first, it's a little awkward to use if you're, you know, used to using a GoPro or something like that because of the way that it stabilizes and the way that it moves. Um, so it's a little bit different. Um, I think it did a pretty good job. Since then, I've gotten a lot more used to this particular camera, uh, and I'm sure I'll be using it again in the future. So. I hope you liked the episode, um, leave any comments or questions below. This is not a travel guide to Porto, this is just me talking about a little photo excursion to the northern um, city in Portugal. Thanks for subscribing and hope to see you again. The key for me is always the same and that is to capture the essence of something and it's all about the people. Don't be timid, just photograph things. Look for what's interesting. Make sure the photos are clean, dynamic. So you see how much depth there is in this particular photo? There's so much happening in one single frame. There's no denying that Porto is a beautiful place. There's just so much history here that every archway, there's something to discover on the opposite side. When I'm walking around, I'm in a void. I'm just literally taking it all in. It could be the symmetry, the color, the shapes. Everything is interesting. And then there's those little surprises of someone at the window. I am climbing Porto. Yes. A northern city in Portugal with more photographic opportunities than you can shake a stick at. I will say there's tons of tourism out here. As a photojournalist, taking photos of people is what I do. My sister, who's an architect, often reminds me people define the space. And she's 100% right. Without the people, this would definitely not look anything like it. And, you know, I always take pride in seeing what's happening. But some people, like this guy, should just put the phone down. It's important to walk. Yes, visit your typical tourist sites, but go discover the little alleyways, the streets. What makes the city unique? Obviously the buildings, the way they look, the way they're connected. So how do you photograph that? The density in tourism is insane out here. But that just means tons of opportunities to photograph. What you have to look for is not the typical pictures. Let somebody else take those. Look for something interesting. 
It's funny, I've been to Porto on a few occasions, and there's always something interesting there. Photographically, you have to think of it in a different way. You're thinking in a two-dimensional space, not in the three-dimensional that you're looking at. So how do you compress the space? The only way to accomplish that is to see the world like your camera does. And in this case, a little rangefinder. Moral of the story, don't use your equipment as a reason why you can't photograph something. Take advantage of whatever it is that you have with you. If it's your cell phone, that's what you use. 